how to do parasitic draw with your voltmeter on millivolts DC. Notice we're at zero. He's on a fuse, but take go off the fuse for a minute and show us ghost voltage. So if you got ghost voltage, you see it bouncing around? Mm -hmm. You're not connected. Like, go near the fuse, but don't hit the metal part. Go near the fuse. So if you near the fuse and you're not on the pin, you're still going to be bouncing around. Now go on the pin. We'll get a solid zero. Now we're going to open the door up because there's no parasitic draw. But watch what happens when you got a load on. There's the door open, the dome light. The dome light is on, the door panel lights are on. Come back around on his car, and we have a millivolt voltage reading. That means we have a parasitic draw. Go shut the door, Solomon. We're still on there, see where we're connected? Now watch this, it stayed there, and look at that, it timed out. Okay. So it has to time out. Sometimes it'll stay up longer than others. So still doing some bouncing around, right? Stay on the pins. See, he went off the pins a little bit because he was looking. When you see bouncing around, you're off. So watch this now. It's probably going to take, we're starting to drop, 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 zero, zero. Yes. Now you know it's timed out. How long did that take? Eh, probably 20 something seconds or so, 30 seconds, 30 right? 20, yeah. So this is how you do a parasitic draw, okay, when someone's battery is going then, by doing voltage drop on the fuse. You gotta be in to the fuse correctly.